Doing a rainwater catchment project out of recycled plastic bottles can be a very good project to do in developing countries where there may not be a reliable source of water and also where there's a problem of discarding trash, uh, perhaps plastic bottles are just getting burned um, in, the, in the village burn piles, putting off smoke. So start a collection of bottles of similar size, similar volume, and you want to choose a location for your tank. Uh, lay out the dimensions, figure out the radius, the inner radius for the inner part of the bottle, uh, the outer radius for the outer part of the bottle. Um, then you're going to want to acquire some river sand. You're going to want to sift this river sand so that you can get out all the silt and, and find uh, all the little rocks and stones and sticks. So it's a very fine river sand you have to mix with your cement. Okay, after that it's time to start working on the foundation of the tank. We used um, some reclaimed bricks and rocks from uh, previous abandoned building projects along with about a 5 to 1 ratio of river sand to cement. Um, depending on how big of a tank you do, this ratio will vary as will um, the type of foundation you lay down, the dimensions of the foundation. Uh, make sure that foundation is level. Having a level on a project like this is very important. Then it's time to actually start making the bottle bricks. Uh, fill those bottles with dirt or whatever uh, you have available, maybe some rubbish, but make sure the bottles are very strong. Uh, they want to be, you know, bottle bricks. So when you go to squeeze these bottles, they're really immobile. You really want them to be strong. Um, after this, it's time to start uh, building the tank. And we used about a 10 to 1 ratio of river sand to cement. Some people say that's too high. It's worked for us so far. Um, it, it all depends on the dimensions of the tank, the quality of your river sand. Um, as you build the tank, make sure you keep a constant radius throughout. Also make sure that every row is level. It's also good to, um, to reinforce the bottle structure with perhaps a, a wiring mesh uh, of sisal perhaps uh, to, to tie the kind of a mesh force network to keep the give the tank some extra strength. Uh, lay the bottles slightly offset from each other between each row so you can have a nice diamond pattern uh, with the wire or sisal or twine whatever you use. Uh, for the plaster you want to use a much uh, higher ratio for the plaster perhaps a 5 to 1 sand to cement. Also we added some waterproof cement to this mixture as well as some lime to give it extra strength. Um, and we did about a centimeter thick plaster per, uh, on the inside and outside. And um, after this, uh, well, just some other things to consider. Make sure you, you allocate um, room for the spigot. You have a method for getting rid of the silt from the bottom of the tank. Um, in that you uh, put it far away enough from the building so there, if there's leakage, it'll be okay.